Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while again since I've done a video. I got really sick over the weekend. I think one of the kids, most likely Shannon, um, it could have been Leland, I don't know. One of the kids picked up a bug at school and brought it home. Shannon didn't go to school on Friday because she didn't feel good last week. Um, like I've been telling you guys, she's been having this like allergy thing. It stopped and then it came back. Like she started feeling better. And then Friday, I woke her up in the morning and she couldn't even talk to me. She was trying to tell me her throat hurt and I felt her head and she felt really warm. So I just told her to go back to bed. And so she didn't go to school Friday. She ended up throwing up on Friday after lunch and that was the only time she threw up so I you know watched her I gave her some Pedialyte I gave her some first I gave her some Sprite because I didn't have any Pedialyte so then I went to the store and bought some for her gave her like saltines a piece of toast she really wasn't that hungry I knew she didn't feel good because she didn't want breakfast and she didn't really ask for snacks and stuff so like I knew she didn't feel good and then Saturday night, I just picked up dinner. My husband was craving something and me and Leland got really sick. I got hit really hard compared to the kids. The kids just threw up. For me, sorry TMI, it was both ends for me. I was throwing up and the other one. So over the weekend, I, Sunday, I literally never left my room. I never left my bed unless it was to go to the bathroom. My husband was home all day with the kids. It was just really bad. My husband got sick on Monday night. Uh, he was fine at work, but when he got home, he didn't feel good. His stomach was hurting and he ended up throwing up. So, and then I've just been busy cleaning this house, trying to get, you know, everybody's not sick anymore. So I'm trying to get rid of this bug thing that was going around. It was like, I think it was just like a 24 hour flu bug thing. Um, so that's why I haven't posted any videos. I also haven't gone anywhere because I was sick. And so that's why I haven't gone live either. I was in so much pain, you guys. My stomach was killing me. So I'm glad to be back. I did go to uh, the 99 like two days ago when the kids were at school. Um, to get a bag of salad. I ended up getting three bags of salad and I needed to get hot dog buns. And of course I grabbed a few other little things. So I only have a little bit to show you from the 99. And then yesterday Deborah and I went to Target after my doctor's appointment. And then I have one more thing from the baby registry to show you that somebody ordered. And I have a Halloween card. So it's a little collective haul. I have my coffee here. I was up super early this morning because Leland got an award at school for being a leader and having courage. I'm just so proud of him. I've been crying. Like this kid has surprised me. I thought he was going to hate school. I thought he wasn't going to want to go. I thought he was going to want to just stay home with me all day and like cry and be one of those kids that like cries. He loves it. No problem. So like, I'm just so proud of him. So I was up really early. I was like, I'm just gonna go get me a hot coffee. I usually don't get hot coffee from Starbucks, but this is like hitting the spot and it's so good. So grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack, sit back and we can enjoy this little mini collective haul. It's not very big, you guys. So I am 30 weeks pregnant. I had Leland early, like I have mentioned to you guys before. I had Shannon two weeks early, which is technically okay. That's not that bad. Leland was a whole month. I started realizing that I don't have really anything for this baby. And I literally could go at any minute. Um, I, I could. They told me that I could be re even earlier than Leland. I'm, so far, I haven't had any symptoms like that. I started having some yesterday. And I did mention it to my doctor when I was there and she just said if I start not feeling the baby move or if I start feeling contractions to go 
obviously if my water breaks but I don't have a hospital bag packed which to some people you guys are probably gonna be like wow like you need to cool it but it's like I've had my kids early so if I tell my husband hey like it's time I want him to just be able to grab the bag it's already ready to go he doesn't have to pack my bag for me like last time um last time he ended up forgetting a bunch of stuff so he had to come back home like I, I don't want to do that again so I want to have a bag pack ready to go like my hairbrush my toothbrush my my toiletry stuff for the shower which is not a whole lot but like you know he's not thinking of stuff like that um and if there is something specific that I want so I did order some stuff online I don't have like a really big not super big but like I don't have like a I just have like suitcases that are huge and massive and I don't want to use those or I have like beach bag totes and those aren't big enough so I did order a decent size like luggage tote bag and it has a really cool zipper thing on the bottom if you guys want to see like what's in my hospital bag I can do a video with that once I get that I just ordered it yesterday so it's not here yet um, so I started realizing I don't have stuff I don't want to put my regular hairbrush that I use every day in that hospital bag because then I can't use it so I bought like a little mini one I'll just throw in there um, I need to have like a little bag with like hair ties chapstick mints gum stuff like that because you don't think about that stuff in the minute you know in the moment when you're packing your hospital bags so like but when you're in the hospital you get caught in breath they don't let you eat you can only have ice chips so like they let you chew gum and they let you like suck on a mint or like a little you know so like I need to start packing my stuff anyways so I'm I went to Target I got some stuff um, but I mainly ordered stuff online like my iPhone cords are not that long so I ordered a 10 foot one because if you've been in a hospital, you know, the outlets are usually really far away. So I bought a brand new iPhone charger cord um, that's 10 foot long, like I said, so I can take that with me. Um, I needed some like menstrual, not menstrual, but like uh, postpartum stuff. So like I ordered a bunch of that stuff. So, but if you want to see what's like in my hospital bag, let me know and I can, I can sh uh, like record a little video and show you guys. Because this is my third baby, and there was stuff that I packed last time that I did not use. I'm not concerned about packing all that feminine things that I've seen a lot of like TikTok videos and YouTube videos of people pack stuff in their hospital bag. They overpack. Um, but I mean, that's fine. That's what they want. They feel comfortable taking it to each their own. Everybody is different. There's no right or wrong way to pack your own hospital bag. It's just things that you don't need like they provide you with diapers they'll give you wipes and you get to take all of it home so like I don't really need any of that stuff but like anyways so last night we went to dinner and afterwards we went to Walmart and I was telling my husband I'm like look I'm not trying to stress you out I've been a little stressed about this because I've been thinking that like we don't have anything we don't have a car seat we can't leave the hospital if we don't have a car seat, they will not let me and the baby leave. Um, not only that, we don't have a bassinet. Like, I know that those are things that we put on our registry, but we, we either need to just take them off and buy them ourselves, or we need to like specifically ask like his mom or my mom or my grandma, like, hey, you know, like, are you planning on buying this? Do you want to go have these on it? Like, what's the, because there are some of my family members that haven't bought anything because they're waiting. But I can't wait for those two big items because this baby could come at any time. And then we won't have a car seat or a bassinet. Um, so this weekend I'm going to be doing a lot of organization in the kids room. I need to make room for all the baby stuff in their like cupboard thing. And I need to wash the baby's clothes because I have all the clothes. I just haven't washed any of it. And if this baby comes, like, I, yeah. I'm just all over the place, you guys. I'm trying not to 
Part of me doesn't want to do any of this because I don't want to have a baby early, but I have to prepare for it because I have a higher chance of going early. I'm sorry I'm rambling. I've just been a little stressed because I've been thinking about it and I just don't want to have this baby early, but if it is a possibility. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have this baby early. I just don't know how early. So anyways, let's get into this haul. You guys don't want to hear me rant about this anymore. But if you do want to see like what's in my hospital bag, comment down below, let me know. And if there's only like a few of you, then maybe I won't do one. Um, maybe I still will, I don't know. But comment down below. And a lot of you are t telling me that you guys want Halloween cards. Again, I don't have your address. So either email me, it's on the about me tab. It's always there. My address is there. So if you just want to send me one first, go for it. And then when I receive it, I will send you one back. But if you want to receive it before Halloween, you need to email me. Um, a lot of you have commented back and said, Hey, email me. I don't have your address. And then I don't hear from you. So I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you or that I'm not going to send you one, but I can't if I don't have your address. So just make sure you're reading your comments or just go ahead and email me first if you want one. Um, and to make it easier, I'll put my email in the description on this video down at the bottom. That way you don't have to go all the way to the about me tab and scroll and find it. But I'll leave it on this one um, for those of you that do want to send me a Halloween card and want one in return. Because I do have plenty of stuff and I haven't had anybody else reach out to me. So, But as they come, I am sending them out if I haven't already sent one to you. Um, as you guys know, my husband loves the white ghosts. I have them in this white or uh, this clear pumpkin jar and the jar is getting pretty low. So when I was there, I just went ahead and picked up a bag. I also was looking for the ghost uh, dots. They're like blue mystery or whatever. Target didn't have any. Um, Walgreens does have them, but I know they're a little bit more. Um, I looked at Walmart last night when we went and they didn't have any. Um, so I might have to find something else to put in that container because that con my husband finished that container um, for the candy drawer. But I bought these to put in there or maybe I'll put these in the candy drawer too. I'm not sure. Uh, these weren't on sale. They were like $3.47. So I just went ahead and got another bag for my husband. And then I did get like four boxes of Disney Dorables. You guys already know I collect them all while I'm trying to. Um, I don't wait for the videos. I just, I open those right away. So, and then any of the dupes I get, I give to Lel uh, Leland and Shannon. Um, I needed a new hair towel and I have a white one and it's just, it's old. It's from like high school. It's the stains will not come out. It's just time for a new one. I've been putting it off and honestly, I keep forgetting to get one. And yesterday I finally remembered when I was at Target, this was only $7. It's a little bit bigger than the one that I use, but that's okay. Um, I just like white for my hair. Um, that way my husband knows not to grab this towel for anything. When he sees it hanging up, he knows this is my hair towel. So I didn't want to change the color and him be like, oh, I'm gonna use this to clean the counter or something, you know? Um, but $7 and it's by threshold. Total fresh bath towel. It's 30 inches by 54 inches. So I just got one of those to replace my other one. My other one, I'm probably gonna use that one as like a cleaning towel. Or if I have to lay it down if one of the kids gets sick, because it is like a decent sized towel. And I don't care if it gets dirty because it's already stained, like I said. And it does have a little bit of hair dye from, you know, when you dye your hair. Obviously I don't use my white towel when I dye my hair, but like by the fourth shower, sometimes there's still a little tiny bit left. So like right here on the rim thing, the seam, it like looks all gross, but it's hair dye. So I got a towel to replace my old one. That wasn't anything for like the hospital bag, but I just needed that. And then I did find a bunch of like little mini things. So like I already have, sorry, I have the hiccups. I already have like a mini shampoo and a mini conditioner 
Obviously, I don't want to have to lug my huge shampoo and conditioner bottles. I'm only going to be there. I Last time, I didn't even take a shower at the hospital because I my water broke at night. And then I left the next day. Like... I, did, I didn't stay a whole nother night. So I didn't end up taking a shower. I took a shower when I got home. Um, and that's probably, that might happen again. I don't know. So again, I don't want my husband to have to worry about bringing shampoo and stuff like that for me. So I already have a mini shampoo and a mini conditioner. Um, I have a little toothbrush, but I don't have to, a little toothpaste. So I picked up one of these. This is like in their like little travel section. So this was like 98 cents. I got a thing of Q-tips just to leave in my like toiletry bag. That also was like 98 cents. You get 50 in there. I got a little baby deodorant. This isn't the one that I use. I use like a stronger, I have to use men's deodorant or deodorant doesn't work for me. But just for when I'm there, this will do the trick and it's little and it's tiny. Um, it's just the cool, Oh, I thought it had like cucumber or something. Cool Essentials, Advanced Care, just a little baby Dove deodorant. And then I went ahead and got a extra thing of wipes just to keep um, in my bag of stuff too. I'm probably gonna keep this with like my hair ties, my mints, um, my little tiny lotion, anything like that. Um, that way I don't have to take hand sanitizer. I can just take these in case I need it. And these were like a dollar something. And I just got the sensitive skin, extra gentle, hyperallergenic. You get 20 wipes. So got those. I think I got a little lotion at Dollar Tree and I'll be doing that haul later because I'm planning on going to a couple Dollar Trees today because I'm, I'm actually looking for something. So I'll see if I can find it. Cause I did go yesterday, but it wasn't a whole lot of stuff. So, but I did get a little baby lotion to put in that bag with all that stuff. Cause your hands do get dry. Um, I got these from the target bullseye section for the kids. Shannon got one of these at school as like a prize, I guess she had, or no, she got them for her birthday, um, from her teacher. I think she got to pick like a prize out of the treasure chest or something like that, she said. And they're called building blocks and her and Leland love these. So I went ahead and picked up another rainbow colored one. This is the exact same one that she has. This was only a dollar. And Leland plays with these two, but sometimes there's not enough for both of them. Cause especially they like build big things. So that's why I got an extra tube. And then I found this one and this one had like Halloween colors. It's orange, white, black, and purple. So you get 72 in there and they like link together and you can make different things. She'll make like a tower sometimes. Um, she makes like a little house thing and then she'll like use her little dorables and she, yeah. So like she does different things with them. They're kind of like magnet tiles, but they don't, they don't have magnets. So I just got, the kids each another tube of those and then the last thing I got from Target oh I also got the kids um these blind balls but they're like little tykes so if you remember like the little red wagon or the little red car from little tykes or mini littles or something like yeah little tykes like the little car we had one growing up it wasn't pink it was like the red and yellow one but you can collect these little figures so i got two blind balls of these for the kids uh leland got a little tool bench and then a wheelbarrow with a shovel and he thought it was the cutest thing they're so little and tiny it's so cute but he pretends that the doorbells are like working and stuff it's so cute to listen to and then shannon got a little jungle gym like play set and the red wagon and the red wagon is so cute you guys so these are the two that she got she got the little gym like junior activity gym and then she got the little red wagon 
And then Leland got the tool bench and the wheelbarrow with the shovel. So I did get those for the kids also. There wasn't really a whole lot I got from Target. Like I said, I mainly went, I actually went to try and find some like maternity jeans or leggings and they were completely out. And then when we went to Walmart last night, I looked and they had a lot, but not in my size. So I'll just have to wait. Um, but I did find this candle and I fell in love with the way it smells and the way it looks. It's so pretty. It's a little pumpkin and it's vanilla pumpkin. It's just a little one wick. They also had a bigger one for $10. This one was five. And I have a candle on this tray on my coffee table and it's so big next to my big pumpkin that I want to move it and I want to put this one there. I'm probably not going to burn this because I love it so much and it's so cute. Um, but they had a bunch of different scents. They had a pumpkin spice one. They had like an amber something. They had like a dark green pumpkin. They had like a burnt orange colored one and then they had like a black one. Um, but I chose this like cream colored one. It's so pretty and it smells amazing. So that's all I got from Target. And then again, like the, like I said, I went to the 99 a couple days ago. I did get a bag of a package of hot dog buns. We already opened those. I got a bag of salad, just like the regular iceberg with like the carrots and stuff. I opened that and then I got two chopped kit salads because I figured it'd be easy, something easy for my husband to take for lunch. Um, and then I also found, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the tripod. I also found sourdough bread and I want to make um, tomato soup, like homemade tomato soup. And of course you have to have a grilled cheese with that. And I wanted to use sourdough bread for the grilled cheese instead of like regular wheat bread. And this was $1.99. So I went ahead and got this. I also needed more of my two gallon size Ziploc bags. This is the only place I can find them. Um, I don't think Dollar Tree has two gallon, but when I make a certain marinade for my sheet pan dinner, these are the perfect size bags. It doesn't fit in a gallon bag. It has to be a bigger one. So I did get those. And my husband uses these when he makes jerky, which I know he's planning on doing. I just don't know when. Sorry, I know I keep bending over here. Let me grab this stuff so I don't have to keep doing that. Um, and then the rest of what I got from the 99, I was actually in a rush because I had to go pick up Leland. So I couldn't be in there too long. So I didn't get to go down like the stationery. I did go down the Halloween, there wasn't really anything. And I went down the fall aisle real quick, but there wasn't really anything I wanted either. Um, but I didn't go down like the cleaning supplies, the toys or like the stationery or like even the kitchen home. Like I literally, the only aisle I was able to get was the food with the Ziploc bags and then the makeup. And then I was like, I looked at my watch and I was like, I gotta go. So I found these hydrating makeup remover facial wipes. You get 25, they were only 99 cents. Um, gently removes makeup and boosts hydration. These I am gonna put in my hospital toiletry bag because it's a smaller package. And all the ones that I have are from like Bolero and they're like the really big ones. So since this one's smaller, I'll add it in there. That's what I was thinking when I got these. Or I think I found one at Dollar Tree and it's a little bit smaller than this one because I don't obviously need 25. Um, I think the one that I got from Dollar Tree has like 10 or 15, it's from like LA Colors, but I will still use these. Um, but one of them is going to be in my toiletry bag for my hospital bag. And then I did find some new makeup. I found another one of these hydrating liquid lip balm, lip moisturizer, new marble formula, ultra moisture, ultra moisturizing and hydrating high shine of a gloss with the nourishment of a balm. And it's in the color fig. I'm going to take it out of the package. Oh, it's all taped up, but it's really pretty. 
I hauled one before and it was in a different color. I haven't even opened it. I think I used it for a giveaway or I have it in the giveaway, in like my giveaway stash. But this one I think I'm gonna open and use myself. I'm not sure yet. This I am keeping for myself. Um, it is by Ioni. My Dollar Trees don't usually have these. They have the ones that I've hauled before, but this one is from Ioni brand and it's cuticle oil, vitamins A and E. So I went ahead and got this. It doesn't say that there's a scent on it or anything, but I did get that. And these were 99 cents. And then I saw that the 99 had NYX brand, NYX, NYX. Um, they had a bunch of NYX makeup. So I was like really excited. This is, Love Out Loud Cream Lipstick. And it doesn't have a color, it just says the number. But if it's this color, I'm sure I'm gonna love it. It's kind of like a nude brown pink. So I did get that. I don't know how much this stuff was. I don't have my receipt on me. Um, I think this was $1.99, but I'm not sure. And then I found some NYX Butter Lip Balm. I don't know if I'm keeping all of these. I haven't decided yet. There was one more and it was a red one, so I didn't get it. Cause I don't know if these are tinted and I don't wear red. But this one is Marshmallow. This one is Biscotti. And then this one is Parfait. So, like I said, they also had a red one. I don't remember what it was called, but it was it was way too dark for me, so I did put it back. Again, I don't know if I'm going to keep these. I'll probably open the marshmallow one, see how I how it feels and how it looks. And if it does leave color, then I probably won't use this cuz that'll be too dark. But if it's just like a lip balm that smells like parfait or something and it's not pink tinted, then I probably will keep all of these for myself. So that is it from the 99. Like I said, this was not a very big haul, you guys. I mainly just went to get the food items that I needed and then Target was for maternity stuff, but their section was pretty much wiped, wiped clean. And then I remembered I needed that towel. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the Halloween card that I got. Cover that better, sorry about that. Has a little cat on there. It says beware. All I did was cut it, so that way I didn't have to do that on video. This is from Shanti, Shantae Wright. She's the one who sent me the um, bibs and the bassinet crib or changing table uh covers mattress cover things um she told me she was sending me a halloween card so and i already sent her one but here's the card has a cute little cat with some bats on it and i already started hanging up my halloween cards so i will add this one to the wall it says bonnie hope nothing but fun crosses your path this halloween and she added some stickers. She does have a channel, you guys. It's right here, My Life, My Way. Life is spelled L-Y-F-E. So go check her out, show her some love. And then she added this like little tag of a skull. Comes with a little ribbon. So cute, thank you so much, girl. I already sent you one and I'm pretty sure you got it already, but uh, let me know if you haven't. And then I got another package from Amazon. I did already open this. Again, like I said, I've been ordering stuff, so I didn't know if it was something that I had ordered. But again, I share it with you guys and show you everything that everybody gets from the registry. This is from Eva A. She is one of my subscribers, but she does order a lot of ring bomb stuff from me. Um, 
So Eva girl, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You were so sweet. You did not have to do that. She says a gift for you. Congratulations and many blessings to you and your family. Eva A. You are so sweet. So as you guys know, the theme is penguins and she bought the little penguin that sings. Um, my kids each have a giraffe. Shannon has a pink giraffe. Leland has a yellow one and you push its tummy and it plays like melody music and it has a shut off timer. So like it goes for like four or five minutes and then it turns off and it also works as like a little bit of a night light to help them and it slowly dims and it turns off so it doesn't stay on all night it does its own thing this is the same thing except it's a penguin and i was so happy to find it on amazon because uh the the ones like the kids have there's only those two giraffes and then a blue seahorse and i was like i don't want to get the seahorse because that's not his theme but I was just gonna get it for him if I couldn't find anything else, but I was able to find the penguin. So you push his tummy and it'll play music and then um, he can just sleep with it. And it's so cute. Thank you so much, Eva girl. You were so sweet. Um, yeah, Lullaby is a company, simulate breathing sound, soft, close skin simulate the heartbeat, removable and washable, high grade fabrics. Um, it's also a plush toy. So like he can carry it around if he wants and I can, it does have like the little shut off button. So during the day, he's not letting the battery run all day. Um, but if he wants to like carry it around, he can. So thank you again so, so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, I am going to be sending out like thank you cards for everybody that has sent me something from the registry, but I'm gonna wait till later because I wanna add a little special something in the card for you guys. And that can't happen until he's here. So um, once he's here, I will send out thank you cards. Um, I have a list on my phone of everybody that's sent me anything from the registry and you will be getting a thank you card with a little something inside. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'm sorry I was gone for so long, but I was really sick, feeling much better now. I just have a lot to do this weekend. Like I said, I'm mainly gonna be in their room, just going through everything in the cupboard, in the drawers, and downsizing my craft stuff tremendously because I do not do as many crafts as I used to and there's just no point in keeping all that stuff if I'm not going to use it and I need to make room for this baby and all of his clothes so that's mainly what I'm going to be doing this weekend I have to get that done because again like I've said this baby could come at any minute and I don't want to have to be pulling his clothes out of a trash bag that I've washed if you know what I mean like I want to have stuff hanging up I want to have stuff folded. I want to have everything in what the size is. You know, if it's 2T and up, obviously he doesn't, I mean, even 18 month, 12 month, he doesn't need any of that right now, but it's all mixed in bags. So I have to wash everything and then sort it and then just make sure I have room for his stuff that he needs now. So that way we go to the drawer, it's right there and we don't have to look and sort and try to find things. So. I really need to get my booty in the gear and get that done. Again, stay tuned. I will be having a Dollar Tree haul. I don't know when that's going to be. Um, I'm going to Dollar Tree today and then I might film that tomorrow. And post it Monday or this weekend. Anyways. Thank you again, Shanti, for the card. I loved it. I'm going to hang it on my wall. Thank you, Eva, for the penguin gift for the baby. I appreciate it. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.